Hey, what's up guys? John here and welcome to Inside the Solo episode number 25. Today's episode is on a song called Stormy Monday as recorded by the Allman Brothers from the Live at the Fillmore East album. We're going to take a look at the first chorus of Dickie Betts' solo. So it's going to be one time through the 12 bar blues. We're in the key of G. Let's check it out. This is right after the organ solo, and then we're sort of winding down out of that solo, and then Dickie comes in with this lick right here. So the band kind of breaks down, and we've got this first lick. So like I said, we're in the key of G. That first lick is hammering from the third fret to the fourth fret on the G string. We'll do it twice, then play. 5-3 on the D string, so we've got... I love this. He makes a statement and then he plays it again and continues lower down the neck. So this next lick is... we'll hear it again going down basically the blues scale so it starts the same way and then walks down five three five four three and then a little bend on six to three on the E string and then jump up the octave so and you hear blues players do that all the time they descend down the scale and then jump the octave After that, we get... A nice slide here. So that's sliding. You could do either the third fret to the fourth fret or the second fret to the fourth fret. And then you put your first finger on the third fret of the E string. And then you bend the fifth fret on the B string, a half step. to this note. So it's just a cool sound. So you got that little sixth and then the bend underneath. So tasty. Now we go to the four chord. Then we move up the neck to the eighth fret on the B string. Play that note twice. And on the second time, do a hammer on to the 10th fret. So again, he plays a lick, then. Embellishes it again. So there's this conversation happening and each line is basically building on what he said previously. So, so that's da, da, twice, then play the ninth fret of the G string and hammer from eight to 10. Then you drop down after that hammer and play the 10th fret on the D string. Then we've got this lick. So you're here, and you slide into nine, 
on the G string, then play eight on the B string, drop it down a whole step to six, and then play seven on the G string. Okay, this next lick is like a classic blues lick, but it's a little different interpretation with bends. So that's hammering on the high E string from six to seven, then play eight, and then you're gonna bend up half step, then whole step. So it's like, and in blues, we have this sound we hear all the time. Licks like that, guys will just play that lick for choruses. Guys and girls will play it for just chorus after chorus. So here's a different variation of it. With bends. Then to get out of it, you go, which is a hammer from six to seven on the E string and then play eight on the B string. Then you go, da, 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 da. so that's again the hammer from six to seven, da, da, da. then eight, then hammer again from six to seven, and then play eight on the B string, seven on the G string, six on the B string. So. There's a little rest in there. So. Then a little chromatic walk down. That's seven down to five. Love this part. Okay, so what that is, another really cool blues lick. Guys like Steve Ray Vaughan would also do this. Um, you hear this actually in the solo Tell Me, which is on another Inside the Solo episode that uh, I filmed. You can check that out. I'll leave a link for that as well, but Steve Ray Vaughan plays the same lick. Okay, so what you do is you're, you're basically playing out of your blues box in the third position, you know, your G minor pentatonic or minor blues, you bend up the fifth fret a whole step on the G string. And you just shake it and bring it down. And then you get out of it like this. So you, you hammer from three to four and then do that string skip, play the third fret of the E string. So it's a fall down. Then we have what's called a turnaround lick. Check this out. So that goes, when you come out of that uh, falling down lick, then you're on the first note of the turnaround. Da, 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 da. So that's going to be third fret of the E string, and then sixth fret of the B string. Back to that E string, then fifth fret on the B string. So. So that's the first part. Da, da, da. Then you play four, three on the B string, then come up one string and go do the hammer again from three to four, just like how we started this whole solo. So you've got. That last bit goes from three to four. Play the third fret on the, on the B string. Come back up, do the hammer and then play the fifth fret of the A string, which leads us into that five chord, which is that classic Stormy Monday D7 sharp five chord. 
chord, which is five, four, three, three, laying your first finger flat and covering those two strings. So. You don't really play the chord, you just play that one root note, D, and the band's playing the, the five chords. So. Alright you guys, I really hope that you learned something in this video. This is a great sort of beginner slash intermediate blues solo to learn in the key of G. You could play this along with the track, note for note, or you could also play it along with a backing track, or maybe you uh, track the chords into a looper pedal and play along with that. For more information, click on the link below. You can get a free PDF of over a hundred pages of licks over major, minor, and dominant chords. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. You can also buy it on iTunes for 15 bucks or you can get it for free in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We've got new videos dropping every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. We'll see you in the next video.